Uh, All right, we are I Love, I Love Friday. Friday. I'm Smoke Kajabi. I'm Zanokar. I'm from Pakistan. And I'm from all over the United States. So we got together because we had mutual friends, like mutual smoking circles and stuff. So we would just hang out. And then, yeah, and then I would keep seeing her around. Yeah, I'm just like, like I would go right, out that? and I would see him everywhere. I'm like, so we just started talking. We keep running into each other, might as well, right? How old are you? <laughs> old enough. Old enough, yep. Oh, yeah, this is this is a serious situation. Yeah, like, we, we, we go, go out, out, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is his hat. Some people still, obviously, they don't know. They're like, it can't be true. <laughs> I'm like, it is. It is. We live in Atlanta. ATL, ho. ATL. <laughs> I moved to the United States like a long time ago. A long time ago. Like, like almost a century. We know each other pretty well. Oh, uh, the music thing was not really in the plans. It was kind of just like a thing that we did because we ran out of content for like another video. So we just so did that. So basically he had been doing music for a long time. And then I wanted to do a YouTube channel. So I made my YouTube channel and we were posting every Friday. So that's why we're called Isle of Friday. That was the YouTube channel's name. So one Friday we didn't have enough vlog footage. So we just made a music video. Hate me. Hate me. And they did do that. They did hate. <laughs> For me, it was when, like, Hate Me got really big. It went viral. Like, everyone saw it. But I didn't know if it was going to, like, it was going to stay like that. But it got big again when we dropped Travel Band. So that's when I realized that it's big and it's real. And that's when I got serious about it. Yeah, and as for me, I mean, I had been doing music before. So it was kind of just, like, it was just easy to transition into He's it. Like, cause finally. Yeah, because we were doing vlogs before, so it was kind of just like, those weren't working out, so we're just like, all right, I mean, we'll just run with this little song for a minute, and then we just kept releasing songs, and then, like, some of them will blow up, and then, like, we're just like, okay, we're supposed to do this now. Definitely. So the best thing I like about her is whenever, like, let's say, as for you, you talking about the music side or or just anything? Uh, the anything? Uh, I mean, she's real cool to be around. So it's it's not like it's just like oh I have to do this or oh I have to do something. like if I just want to if I want to do something, then she's like generally excited to do like whatever. So it's like she's a real cool person to hang out with. Yeah, we're like we're really different, but we're also very alike. So it's like whatever I feel or whatever I have to say, or if I have an idea, I can just tell it to him and it's, it's a go. And he's very smart and I don't like stupid people, so. I feel like it's just a kind of thing that we're just doing us. So we, we don't really like to worry about what other people think because it's kind of like, if you don't like it, we're not gonna not stop we're not gonna stop because you don't like it that goes for like anybody it's, it's just kind of like we're we're done with just trying to look at somebody and follow like what they want to do so it's like once we actually become ourselves and do what we want it's kind of like we don't want to hear like oh you can't do this or you oh you can't do that because it's just like yeah. if i listen to that what what am i gonna do what go back to vlogs <laughs> like yeah i love my family but i'm not here to please them Ple pleasing myself I want to have a lot of music out and I want to be known, like we're known in a couple different countries and stuff, so I want to expand our fan base and I want to make music that people can like relate to and also like turn up to and like, but for like long term career goals, I want to like have like a charity or something like that. I want to help people because I've seen a lot of poor people in third world countries and I want to like help them. Yeah. And then as for me, I want more of like a I want the whole energy of this world to like really switch up for the music because as of right now, everyone is listening to the music, but I can tell like everyone is not really like that excited about music anymore. Just like, oh, they came out with a song. All right, cool. It's nothing like that throws you off like, oh, they're doing something that I don't know who like, else is going to do that. Music. Yeah. So it's like I tell a lot of I want to like tell a whole bunch of people that 
um, I would say for like a little bit of advice, like we, we all need a little bit of creation evolution because if we stop creating, we stop evolving, then we're done for and no one will be able to do what they do. Because there's some people at the top, but I mean, there's gonna be some more people at the top, and a lot of you guys could do that. But if you're if you're not creating, then, and I don't mean going based off of oh I want to do this because it's someone else. Like you have to do your passion, and that's the only way around it. If you don't do your passion, then you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get anywhere. I listen to a lot of pop and EDM and some slow like R and B. Like this big artist, I know her name. I don't really know a lot of the EDM artist's name. I just like listen to it. But there's this one artist, her name's Tavlo. She has good music. Um, Dua Lipa, she has good music. Rihanna, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga. Yeah. And then I listen to like more trending stuff. Like I don't have, I, I don't. To, I listen to stuff that like, we're like, what is that? I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I listen to more of like just stuff that trends. And then, like, I, if I get an album, I'm not going to listen to all the songs. I listen to the, the most popular song because I'm the one who likes the most popular songs. Like, for music, I'm like the bandwagon. Like, if, you, if I like you as an artist, I like your most popular song. And a lot of people are scared to admit they're like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, I like this song. I like this song. Like, well, that's how I feel for a lot of artists nowadays, at least. Because most yeah. people, is just they're just coming out with one hit. I'm just like, look, like, I like that one hit, but I'm not, like, a fan of all your work like that. Yeah, a lot of the stuff just be sounding the same. It's like, dun, mm, mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, I do. I produce. I engineer. Um, and we do. We both do the videos. We edit yeah. them. So like everything we've ever done has just been me and her. Like we really haven't had a team to really do that. Yeah. Everything is in house, and that's that's what's so hard about it because it's like we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. So if we get something wrong, something doesn't go right, then it goes back to us. So it's like we like to hold a lot of the responsibility, but also like like we said earlier, like that's why we're gonna give back to everybody because we know like if we try to help or if we try to help people at the end then it's going to be too late than if we just help people now. So we're actually like helping a whole bunch of people right now than to just be like, oh, we're just going to wait to the end and all that. So. I don't know what to call it. It's expression. <laughs> it's, it's like, think about every single genre just mixed into one. Almost like a new term like free form music it's just like music like yeah having a genre is cool and all but it's about how you feel so. yeah because we're coming to a time where it's like it's like there's so like as of right now there's so much rap music there's so many people putting out the same type of thing to where it's like in a couple years it's going to be like i'm not trying to hear this anymore like every we're already getting to that stage mm -hmm. so it's kind of like um in the future the way you're going to be able to tell how people are actually like ha actually have talent and everything is how their music sounds completely different from everything so then people aren't going to be putting out the same song anymore it's going to be a, it's almost like a single war now so it's like people are going to like all right this single did good this single did, did good this single did good so because there's enough people on the internet now a single can like make your whole life now so it's kind of like albums really aren't aren't really the thing anymore which is why we're seeing a whole bunch of singles and all that if i were to work with anybody right now they would have to be able to one match what she has to do on a track and match what i have to do on a track because it's not just everyone for themselves yeah. it's really us creating something that's going to change the world forever the musically. sound the, the artist's voices and sound has to complement each other so it's not just like oh i'm gonna just do a track with anybody because i'm a fan it's like you got to think about how you want the song and then whose voice would go with it so i guess it would depend on the track that we're doing yeah because it's like some um yeah like our music is just everything in one so it's like You'd, you'd have to know what you're doing. You can't just make one style of music. So just someone with a lot of creativity and someone who really understands our energy patterns and our music, too. Oh, I, w I would consider myself famous because, like, fame is when a lot of people know you when you're known. And we are known. Like, we'll go out and people will stop us. It's not like a mob, but you feel me? Some people know us. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... I see fame almost as the same word as success, but 
I mean, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So, I mean, you can, it, there's not a specific point in when we can say, oh, now we're famous. Because it's like, there's not just a definition, like when you reach this number. So it's like when you, when you walk a certain way, you talk a certain way, and you know what you are, then that's who you become. And then in the future, that's who you're molded into. So it's more of like, um, you are whatever you want to be, basically. As far as the pros and cons of fame, I think that the cons don't outweigh the pros. So it's just like, I'm cool with it. I say um, one big con is that um, being famous, if you say the wrong thing at the wrong time, it's kind of like you could... Um, and a whole lot of things for a whole lot of people because at that level a lot of people look up to you so if you say something wrong or you say something offensive or like you you could tell someone to end their life and they'll do it just because they they like you so you, you really have to watch what you say because mm -hmm. if you're going to create a big movement you have to make sure everybody's on the same energy everybody's on the same like mentality towards things if you tell them to do something they're going to do it so you have to make sure that it, everything is going as planned. Yeah, the pros just... are like, you can do a lot, you can help out people, you have a big impact, you can share ideas. As far as the cons, you get a lot of hate, you gotta watch what you say, lack of privacy, people are always mm -hmm. like, like assuming that they know you, even though they really don't know you, because, you know, they just don't know you, but it's, it is what it is. So um, that was just we had we had a bunch of shows just rounded out. That wasn't a tour. That was just a whole bunch of shows that we had like in different states. I know we did one in North Carolina, and that one was shout out to Harvey J for that one. Yeah. You know we turned up real good over there. Um, it was just it was just lit over there. Like it was like a rave crowd. So they had lights, and the lighting was different, and it was fun. They were just all lit. As far as musical advice goes, I think that just like keep recording and keep doing music as until you find your sound and then you perfect your sound and you just go from there. Be authentic, be true to yourself. Don't listen to like a good song like, oh, that sounds good. I want it to be like that because that artist probably didn't copy someone else. They were original and that's why it sounds good. So just be true to yourself. So as far as Pakistani people responding to me and my music, it's been a, it's like a lot of different type of responses. Some are like, oh, you're disrespectful to the culture. You shouldn't be doing this. Some are like, oh, you know, shout out to you because there's no Pakistani like person with a, a spot that I have, like a platform that I have. So it's just different, but shout out to the people that support. I'm here because there isn't anyone for Pakistani people and they don't have anyone that they can relate to. So I want to be that person that they can relate to and ask questions about because I understand the culture. I speak the language. I know what they're going through. So I just want to help. It was, um, it was, okay, so when my parents first saw the video, which was Hate Me, because it was the first video, they didn't like it. They were like, delete it, delete it, delete it. I'm coming for you. You got to delete it. This is, this is not good. But I didn't delete it, and I kept going. And then eventually it's like, they still don't like it, but, oh well. <laughs> the bluff, in, the Pakistani bluff where? Oh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, by the bluff? Oh, <laughs> I've heard of the bluff, but I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, the AK shit. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I have been to my country, which is Pakistan, and I do speak the language, which is Urdu. And um, when I was over there, it's like, you, you can either walk places, get a bike, it's just like, traffic is all weird. So I used to walk to the nearest market, and on the way there, I would see homeless kids, like uh, like a seven-year-old would be carrying her two-year-old brother, and they would go by like the fruit stand, and they would get the fruit off the floor, which was rotten, and that's what they would eat. And over there, they have public water, like it's like a park where you go and you fill up your 
your gallons of water for uh, for clean water. And they would go there for their water, and they're, they're you know asking for money. And I've seen a lot of old disabled people, and a lot of um, children don't go to school because over like over here public school is free up until college. Over there you gotta pay like from kindergarten forever. It's just like a lot of stuff that needs reform over there, and I want to help because the government is very, very corrupt, and that's why the situation is like that in the first place. I've been to Kuwait. I've been to England. I've been to Canada. My hair care routine is almost like, so I had bleached it a whole, a whole bunch just to get it. Like, you have to get it all the way <laughs> like you have to get it almost to the point of falling out just to have like the light color in it and the coloring that doesn't do anything but i mean she did my hair so yeah. it was it was really just an experiment like i basically for me i was like i mean i hope this goes well <laughs> like it could have went good or bad and there's no in between but as far as like after you do it i would say like coconut oil i told him about that coconut that oil me. that like <laughs> That coconut oil it will save your life. Yeah, every time we would dye his hair, like we didn't know it was, it was gonna look like. So we're like, all right, because we had an idea of how we wanted it to look like, and it would come out a different way. But the last time we did it, it came out like that, and we kept it. Yeah. My strain of choice is indica because I'm already like thinking a lot. You know, I'm creative, so if I smoke some sativa, I'm gonna be like, not in a good way. Yeah. But I like indica; it relaxes me. My stress is gone. I'm just chilling. Yeah, because some sativa, like, sativa is where I get, like, anxious and paranoid, so I just like to chill out, because I'm already up, so I just like to chill out with that indica, because it's like, it'll bring me down a little bit, but it'll just mellow me out. It won't be, like, too much of a of a couch potato. <laughs> I'm Zain Okar. I'm Smoke Kajabi. And we're I Love Friday, and we're rocking with All Urban Central. Central.